happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Welcome to my live. And if you happen to be watching later, welcome to the replay. My name is Robin and I'm with Robin's Egg Blue Creations. And I'm also an independent designer with Chalk Couture. So once you hop on tonight's live or you hop on the replay at a later date, feel free to say hi in the comments and tell me where you're watching from. Um, I am in central Kansas and I'd like to know where you are from. So with that, I also want to let you know um, that I'm live in three locations this evening. So if you hear me refer to a comment that you don't see in your feed, that person may be viewing and commenting from a different platform. Also, if you're watching from my fi private Facebook group, there is a permission link in the description of the video. Clicking that link just allows StreamYard, my streaming platform, to pin your profile name and pick to your comment. You can choose not to click the link. Just know that your comment um, will then show up as Facebook user. I may not know who I'm interacting with, but I will still say hi. I will still answer any questions. I'll still chit chat with you. I may just not know who I am unless you specify your name. In your comment, I won't know, may not know who I am interacting with. Um, and as always, if you like this project and think it's pretty cool and you think others should see it, or if you just want to help my little channel, feel free to spread the craft of love around Facebook and YouTube. Hit that heart button, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, follow, whatever platform you're on, do all the things. Um, and as always, tag your crafty friends and invite them to watch along. With that, let's go to my comments. Jason is watching from the other side of the door. And I see that Amy is watching from Indiana. Welcome. I'm glad you're here this evening. Um, I think you're maybe a new viewer. And honestly, congratulations. You are my very first live YouTube viewer. Woohoo! I've been doing this for, it'll be three years in May. And sadly to say, you're my first one. So congratulations um, and welcome. I'm glad that you're here. So with that, um, let's go ahead. Oops, I lost my second camera. Hmm. Let me, uh, I don't know what happened. I was going to flip the camera and it's gone. So let me reconnect. Un momento. Technology's grand until it doesn't work. So, Amy, where at in Indiana are you watching from? Okay, there we go. Uh, let's make sure that that... Okay, now let's flip the camera and see what happens. And I may have to do a little bit of adjusting... There, I think that works. Okay, perfect. So it, as you read in the description, um, I am using some scrap wood blocks that I had in my stash. These are just um, like fence posts kind of things. I do want to say if you're going to go, but you're in Waterloo, Indiana. Well, cool. Um, well, I think you're probably my first Indiana watcher and my first YouTube watcher. That's so exciting for both of us. <laughs> if you're going to buy fence posts, make sure that they are not the pressure treated kind. Well, good golly, Molly. I don't know what's going on. Something. He's not working. I don't know why. This wants to disconnect. not leaving a very good impression for some of my first time viewers. Okay, let's try it again. Actually, you guys don't want to see any of that. Oh. Sorry about that. Okay, now I'm going to move my glass mat down and hope we can get far. Get far. So make sure these are not pressure treated because you're not supposed to paint pressure treated wood. 
So I have my fence posts. I also have some wooden spoons that I bought in a three pack from Dollar General. Um, so I bought two packs so I would have enough gears. And then I have, I pulled out a couple of my um, pattern transfers from Chocotour. So this is the Leopard and it's found, it's um, these and the wood grain, these are both on two separate um, four packs of found nature patterns. I also pulled out the dots. Sadly, I haven't used this one yet, but it is out of stock. Um, hopefully it will come back in stock so that you can get one yourself. So we will use these as um, kind of texture and pattern for our bunny bodies. And then because I can't paint worth a hoot, I made um, some icon art silk screens with my icon art kit. So what I, um, so it is a multi-step process. You get these um, printer films, which you get either ink, you can get inkjet printer films and you can get laser jet, laser printer films. So you would pick out your artwork, you send your printer films through a printer, and then you put it on your emulsion sheet and then you expose it, expose it with a UV camera or UV light. Um, Gosh, golly, I don't know what's going on. Let's, let's just use my regular phone and see. If maybe it's that phone. Sorry about that. I don't know what's going on. Hmm. Let's try my phone and see. Dagnab it. Okay, let's put that up there. Uh oh, I can mute it. Oh. Okay, let's see if that works. Goodness golly, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to show you all on my messy desk. Okay, let's go from there. So, I have a bunch of old um, vinyl that I use with my Silhouette Cameo and my Cricut. So, someone has, of course, hacked the system. And so, I just put my, I cut out my artwork on my Silhouette Cameo. I put it on a sheet of transparency. And that's how I was able to make my stencil. So I lay this over the emulsion sheet, expose it with my um, UV light, and then you wash it out and all of the negative pieces go away and you're left with a silk screen that's almost identical to a Chocotour transfer stencil. So that's what we're going to use for the bunny faces. Sorry about that. That's kind of a long ex explanation. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these apart. So I can use the faces independently. Um, these are not quite as sticky as Chalk Couture transfers, so you just kind of have to be a little careful. They do come in either, hey Miss Amanda, let me say, and that's cool. It is really cool. I've only made a couple of stencils with it. Um, there is a blue stencil film and then there's a purple textile film. Most people just use the purple because it is a lot more sticky than the blue. So that's what we're going to use. So let's get our bunnies painted. I'm going to put those to the side. How's Miss Amanda doing? So I think let's just work on one bunny for this evening. Even though I have three pieces here, one might get kind of long. So now I just need to decide 
So I have hazelnut Waverly paint. I have a mineral paint. I have some white DIY paint that I've made. Why am I all cattywampus here? Um, and then I also have some antiquing wax. So I think I want to do the hazelnut just for something fun. But I know that this is separated. And I'm going to get out my handy dandy little makeup brush that I got from the Dollar Tree. These are great base coating or wash brushes because they hold a lot of paint. Ooh, that's not very mixed up. But I kind of like that. Let's, let's give it another shake. Oh. And if you haven't had a chance um, to do today's live check-in post on my business page, I asked what spring flowers are your favorite? So you can go, go answer that really quick, but make sure you come back. Um, and then you can be entered for tonight's drawing. Okay, let's do the top. So I've already pre-drilled my holes for my spoons. And I'm going to have to remember to um, paint those as well. thought you were going to say handy dandy notebook. Nope, my handy dandy makeup brush. They hold a lot of paint and they make quick work of base coating. I need to get some more. I only bought one of this size and I could so use a lot more. Paint is separating again. So did everyone survive spring break? Did it, everyone have a spring break? You know, we have an adult kiddo, so spring break doesn't really exist in our house anymore. It's just kind of a... Doesn't really happen. So I'm going to paint these wooden spoons... And after I get these painted, I'll show you how I cut the other ones, or how I cut these down. Oops, sorry. I was trying to pull up my sleeve. It probably looked really weird. If you do a lot of base painting, I highly suggest these um, makeup brushes. You can get them at Walmart as well, but they're going to be a little bit, obviously, a little bit more um, costly than they would be at the Dollar Tree. Amanda said it was definitely different for us, but enjoyable. Good. Just kind of have a staycation. Or no, your kiddos went to Grandma and Grandpa's, didn't they? Or grandma's. Okay, I think I've got that one. Got those pretty good and base coated. They don't have to be perfect. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get a wipe out because I'm 
messy. Hey, Miss Ashley. Amanda said, yep, she sent the kids to Kansas City for the week, but you both took off and spent it together. Oh, cool. You had an adult spring break. I want to wrap my paintbrush in this wipe to keep it fairly, just to keep it moist. Okay, so I broke out my miter, my little miter cutter to um, cut these spoons down. And I just kind of guessed where to cut them. But because they're such a soft and it's inexpensive spoon they cut pretty good and then i just placed um i just used this one to measure that one and it cuts pretty good. i mean they kind of split a little bit but once i jam all that down into the uh hole it'll be or you can just leave it off We'll use those for the other ones. And then you've got two dowel rods to use however you like, but this comes in pretty handy. Um, okay. So let's get, let's get our block dry so that we can add um, our texture. So I put a, uh, a cart link in the description of the video. Um, I linked most of the pattern transfers that I'm using. I also linked the, there's a neutral palette path that contains Storm, Bark, Dune, Black, a lot of the neutrals that you can use. Oops, I forgot a side. Um, that contains kind of some of the neutral uh, chalk paste, which you can also use the chalk paste to paint your bunny block if you really wanted to. Totally missed this side. Getting bat. There's writing on that side, so I'm gonna have to make, I'm gonna have to put a pretty thick coat on to see if I can get that covered up. Let's see if that dries ever. Okay, I think we're gonna have to get the hair dryer out for that. So I do have a cart link in the description. There is already there is already um, three transfers in the cart link. So if you add a fourth transfer, you would get the um, you would get one of those transfers for free because of Transfer Palooza. So for every three transfers you add to your cart, you get the the fourth the next one free so if you add six you get two free if you add nine you get three free so if you happen to check out the cart link just add a fourth transfer and then one of them will be free
so I don't necessarily want this big stripe going down the middle of my face. So this side's going to have to be the front. And if you can tell, there's still a little bit of writing, but I think it'll be okay. Um, because I want to put a bow on it and I'll have the face. I probably should have primed it with some white or some gray. So like that one I'll have to prime. But maybe once I add the texture or the pattern, it won't be so bad. So let's out. I'm going to use bark. We're going to make some darker patterns. And I think we'll just go ahead and use the leopard. So again, this one comes um, on a D size transfer. So it's an 18 by 18. So you get four different patterns um, on this one particular transfer. Um, so this is a silk screen transfer. It is reusable about eight to 12 times, depending on how well you take care of them. I'm gonna get a squeegee. Sorry, you can't see that very well. So I'm just gonna use a squeegee and some of my bark chalk paste. I'm just gonna dip it in and then I'm gonna just gonna run my squeegee down that silk screen area, making sure I fill in all of the design with chalk paste. And then I'm gonna pull off as much of the excess as I can. And I'm going to kind of even out all of those squeegee lines. I'm gonna put my excess back in. And then we can pull that off. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So yeah, that's going to cover up. Oopsie. We're going to have a cute little leopard bunny. So let's do, um, I'm going to go ahead and do the back side. Just to save a little bit of time, I'll do these, maybe do those two later. But because I want to put something on the back side, although I don't so we'll do the same thing again. It's gonna be the condensed version because you don't need to watch me paste every side. Get that dry. Jason says he likes it. And I'm going to try to figure out how to do the back sides of the ears.
So between Ashley and Amanda, have your kids recovered from having to go back to school? Okay, so let's do the back sides of the ears. They don't have to be perfect. I'm going to get as much. Just do a little bit. I might do a little bit on the front too. So I'm just going to lay this transfer on my spoon. there and we'll get those dry I'm kind of making a mess but that's okay do the same thing and then we'll get those dry and we'll do a little bit on the front I want to do some pink dry brushing kind of on the inset of the spoon It'll look like the inside of his ear and you know what that would have been really cute like as pink leopard but that might have been a bit too much too there's his other back side of his ear actually said the girls were tired he stayed up late and slept in all last week it's been a little rough this week and then they have two days ooh two days two days of state assessments after spring break that wasn't good planning. Yeah, that would make for a rough week. But at least they had the time change last week. That would have been rough to have had to have gone back to school after spring break and have a time change. <laughs> So now I just want to get this little part right there. I'll just lay that there. It's going to be a little hard to see. I'm just going to leave my finger there so I know not to go up any higher. Ashley says she's glad they had time change during spring break. Yeah, that would have been rough. So I will just place this back on the backer sheet and then when I'm all finished, I'll take it to my utility sink and clean it with some water. It'll be good as new. In fact, I'm going to spray it down just a little bit so it's not so hard to clean later. Lay that safely somewhere to, to hang out. And then let's close that up for now give it another wipe
Sorry. I'm always trying to make sure my hands stay clean so I don't get paint everywhere. Plus, brown paint just looks odd. Okay. So now, I'm going to get those dry. some that might be too bright I will use so I have peachy keen and I have marvelous let's try marvelous I'm going to do a little bit of dry brushing Maybe. So I just have a stencil brush. It's a hard bristled brush. And I'm going to dip just, just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to offload a lot. And then I'm just going to add some pink. kind of be the inset of his ear so you can kind of see the difference so there you go just going to come back in here and get some of that wet paste offload a lot of it how many tools I can use up. So let's get, I think we can get rid of this now. Oops. I probably should have left an opening in the leopard so that I'm not chalking over it. Ashley says pretty. And I think some of my um and these are just not very sticky. Um my what are those things called? Whiskers. Some of them, especially the larger one, they're probably going to hang off. But okay, so let's get another squeegee. And hopefully, this all works. So I'm going to try to use a light touch because this is not very sticky. Trying to make sure that it's, well, it's sticking on there. I swear. Okay, so I have some black paste on here. I'm just going to lightly And 
this one is a custom stencil that I made using my icon art system. Just a piece of his eye. Same thing, I'll take this over to my water after I'm finished. Just wash them with some water. Let me hang out right there. Whiskers aren't perfect, but still cute. So let's close that up. And then we'll just pretend that I chopped this side and this side. So now let's connect his ears, which I think I'll use some wood glue. I'm going to get some of my quick and thick. Amy says, so cute. Thank you. So I drilled some pretty rudimentary holes. They are certainly not even. <laughs> um, I think these might need to be a little bigger, but I think I'm not going to glue them in yet because I'd like to maybe try to get these down a little but you know what? I can remedy that. I'm just going to cut a little bit more off of these. So maybe I can jam them in there a little bit so they're not so long. Ashley says, that's adorable. Thank you. if I can get him down in there. <laughs> I'm going to add a bow, so we'll hide a lot of that. So let's use, I'm just going to add some around here and then jam that down in there kind of at an angle this is going to be a kind of a rudimentary bunny but I gotta figure out what color of fabric strips to use. So there's his ears. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, so let's get some fabric. And I'm gonna get my bow my bow maker. Should grab that. And then I should have grabbed some cream yarn to make a pom pom. Okay, let's pull out. I'm just over here digging through my um, uh, that's cute. So I've got some black and white polka dot. 
Um, I think leopard on leopard will be a bit, it's a bit too much. I've got some brown. It might be too dark. I've got some cream. That might work. Green is probably no. And I've got some strips of that over here that we might see what that looks like. I also have a strip of that. Um, see what that looks like. Okay. Jason says too cute. So does Amy and Ashley says that's adorable. Thank you. Um, okay, so let's get a piece of twine. Put that through here. Oops. Okay. So let's. I'm just going to tear off strips. Maybe a half an inch, quarter of an inch. Just make some little notches and then literally tear the fabric. I might do one more of that one. I think I'll save that one for my white bunny. I think that's too much yellow. So, okay, so I have three of those. We'll use that one. Same way with this one. Cut. And some of this one. So these browns were like a fat quarter bundle from Joanne's a long time ago. Um, but I like to use you get fat quarters at Walmart. You can get fat quarters at Hobby Lobby. I also like to shop the remnant section at Hobby Lobby. I also like to use bandanas. This is actually, um, I use pillows as stuffing because it's a lot cheaper than buying actual stuffing. So this is actually the pillow after it's lost its stuffing. So waste to not want not. So we're going to use it. And then I think I can cut that one. So it's just an average little gray and white pattern. I've used, but like if you've, um, uh, 
find a bed sheet. And that's not part's not going to work for that. Um, I like to use bed sheets. You can get a lot of fabric out of a bed sheet. And then this is kind of a patterned white. You can see it a little bit as I turn it. I'm just, again, making little snips. And then I'll use that to tear. You can get fabric bundle you can get fabric at uh, Dollar Tree they also they have them in the little fat quarter rolls and then you can also in the three dollar and five dollar section you can find fat quarter bundles for like five dollars the Dollar Tree you could use old t-shirts I mean, mostly those would mostly be plain but you could you had a flannel uh, shirt you could use that okay so let's see let's start with I'm going to have to pinch that, twist it, so I can keep that fabric face up. This isn't usually the bow I make, but I'm just going to try something a little different. Maybe <laughs> I might go back to the bow I normally make. Um, yeah, let's, I'm going to ditch that. So I'm going to cut these all in half. Let's not try something new. And I may even cut them in half again. I think we'll just do it this way. So I just cut them in half. Come on. That's going to lay the way it's going to lay. We'll do a couple layers of this color. do cut this one save that one for later because it's shorter then we'll cut the brown and we'll just add that in So I'm going to cut that in half. Sorry, you probably haven't seen any of that. But I'm going to cut that in half. So I end up with four pieces. These are a little shorter, but that's okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Let's 
Then I'm going to take these two pieces and cut them in half and cut them in half again. Just keep layering. should have alternated them a little better but Ashley and Jason both say bless me I need all the blessings I can get <laughs> these look like so I'm going to cut those cut there I think that's given probably should have alternated this a little better not stacked them all on top of each other. Almost thinking I should dismantle it. You're like, no. I think I'm going to reorder, re, I'm going to uh, alternate all the stacks. It won't take long since I've already got them cut. They're like, no. Okay, so a layer of black and I think we'll do this one next. Kind of alternate the, I don't want all the dark colors on the bottom. I think this will look better. So I'm just going to do a layer of two. They don't even have to be in the same order. But I'll try to keep them in the same order. Just because that's how my brain works. Just kind of go till you think you've gotten enough on there. I think I want another layer of black. And then let's do this cream color. up with strings everywhere but okay I wonder if that's enough let's see we can always add to it if we need to so I'm just going to take my twine Tight. How did it pull very tight? <laughs> uh, okay. So it's not my night for bows. Let's just shift that around. Must have hit a fragile piece. I'm just going to incorporate this into the bow. Okay, so tie it fairly tight if you can. I'm going to trim those pieces off. 
And then you just kind of messy it up. Floof it out. And then we'll give it, we'll glue it down. Although I don't have my, let's, I have to heat up my hot glue gun. So while my hoop glue gun is heating up, we can talk about the perks membership. Let me, let me trim a few of these pieces off. They're a little long. A little scraggly. Super cute. Okay, I think that's the back. I just want to see. <laughs> it's not as well. I was kind of hoping it would hang down a little longer, but actually that's pretty cute. Okay, so while my glue gun is heating up, let's talk um, about, what do I want to talk about? Um, the winter warehouse cleanout is still going on. Lots of retired transfers, um, 50 to 70% off. Lots of good ones, so go check that out. While you're at it, remember that we have Transfer Palooza going on. So buy three transfers, get one free. So if you buy six, you can get two transfers free. And if you buy nine, you can get three transfers free. So between the Winter Warehouse sale and Transfer Palooza, um, you can get uh, quite the stash of transfers. But I really want to talk about the perks membership program it's the one in the middle so it's uh, it's a lot like it's the amazon prime for chaka tour so you pay twenty dollars a month but in return you get twenty dollars um, in monthly for product credit you also and with that twenty dollar twenty dollar product credit you can shop thirty percent off of the products anytime so anytime you go on to shop and you log into your Perks member um, portal, then you can purchase products at 30% off. There's no monthly or quarterly minimums. There's no selling. You don't have to build a team. You do get additional promos. And you can join Club Couture for a discount of $17.19 a month. And you can see if you're just a Club Couture member, that one is $21.99 a month. So I've always said if your wish list is way bigger than your wallet, now you have a prime, literally, literally and figuratively, you have a prime opportunity to shop Chop Couture products at a discount without having to be a designer. And don't get me wrong, designership is fantastic because you can shop at 40% off. Um, there are no quarterly or monthly quotas to be a designer. They have, Chalk Tour has um, eliminated that. Unless you have a team, if you have a team, you have to submit $100 in product value monthly to keep your team. Um, so it's just a really great program that I hope you consider um, joining or taking advantage of. Uh, I wished it would have been around, you know, when I signed up, I might have done that instead of becoming a designer, but I, um, I don't regret being a designer. I love my, I have a small team and I love my teammates and I will do everything I can to try to keep them. But I just want to reiterate how amazing the perks program is. And I think just trying to see. So that's where I added the twine. So this is gonna be the back side right there, I think. Yep, right there. 
Okay. I just need to figure out where I want to put my bow. So I'm just going to put a dollop of glue right there. I'm just going to stick my cute little bow down. And you can add some moss as well. Oh, he's so cute. I don't know if I like that twine there, but... See if I can take it out. Actually, I'll just do it that way. I took the bows out, but I left the little stringy dudes in there. Oh, he's she's super cute. <laughs> Get these little. Separate all the little thingies. Oh my goodness. Look at how cute. Kind of scraggly, but look at that. Except for I don't like that black one right on her, her eye. It's kind of how my bangs end up. Got one section that never wants to cooperate. Looky there. Look at this bunny. Jason says, love it. Okay, let me hold it up this way. Well, there's that bunny. And then look at the back of his ears. <laughs> I'll probably put some moss back here to cover up this little shelf, or I could make an um, duplicate of his bow of her his or her bow and put it back there I might do that instead <laughs> excuse me too many too many um, rag strings I need to pull some of that forward that one little black one I may have to hot glue it over here super cute Jason says, love it. Ashley says, so cute. So I think I'll do, um, so I still have, I think I'll do one in white. Um, and I have the wood grain. And then I'll do probably one in gray, maybe. And I'll do the polka dots. About the same way. Um yeah, super cute. So I'm going to fluff up. Oh, I just love her. She's super cute. <laughs> and she doesn't have to be just for Easter. She can, she, bunnies are for spring. So you could leave her out past, past April. Amy says, great job. Thank you. Um, so before I forget, we'll put her right here. Let's do our drawing from the other day or from this morning. So I'm going to share my screen because I always seem to forget this. Um, and it's either between Amanda or Candy. So if I draw myself, I'll have to draw again. So let me see what you guys see. So I'm going to remove that. Okay, so let's confirm those. And if I draw myself, then I'll redraw. So let's start. Yep, I'm going to have to redraw. <laughs> um, can I go back? Let's see if I can go back. Oops. Oops. 
All right, you're going to have to watch me walk through this. I'm going to have to see. Okay, so let's try this again. Hopefully, I don't draw myself again. Oops, it's not. Oh, I did draw myself again. Nope, nope. Oh, I did draw myself again. Okay, um, let's close that. Let's share it again. Oh, goodness, Dolly. I gotta get that off. Okay, let's try that again. Sorry. Um, oh, I totally got out of it. I gotta quit commenting that way. I don't mess myself up. Okay, now let's try that again. So let's share. Okay, let's see who I draw this time. Amanda won. Woohoo! Congratulations, Amanda. I will get with you to get you your prize, and I probably owe you a few back prizes. So I'll get those to you. Congratulations. Um, turn, no, let's stop sharing. Okay, doke. Um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and hop off. I do have a live planned. Um, for the weekend, I have a cute little upcycled notebook that I want to do. So be watching for that. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me uh, this evening. Amy, congratulations on being my very first YouTube and Indiana viewer. Woohoo! Um, so I hope you all have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in my next crafty video. Thanks for watching.